Line tool. It's one of the most common tools, but weirdly, it's not up there when you open Fusion. Okay, so we can create, but when we look at create, there's no create a line. And yet it's one of the most popular tools. Now, why is that? Well, that's because the line is actually part of the sketch tab. And these are the tabs at the top here. And at the moment, the sketch tab isn't there. So let's start off. How do we start off drawing a line? Well, there's the simplest way in the world, and that's just to click L. If you click L, you'll get the orbit. And it will ask you, what plane do you want to start drawing on? So I'm going to start drawing on that one. And straight away, we know we're in line because I know the mouse is small um, and I apologize. Let me try and wiggle it and see if it makes the bit underneath it bigger. I don't know whether it but no, it doesn't. Um, so underneath there, you can just see the line icon, which is up here. This is the line icon. So what's happened is when I started create a sketch or if I use the letter L that will skip a few steps it will open the sketch tab and I can start creating a line straight away so other ways of doing it let's just undo that so going back to this one another alternative that we can do is we can click sorry let me just do it this way we can right click we can go down to sketch and then we can click line. Again, select the plane that you want to write on and the sketch tab comes up again. Let's just go back. Final one, just to show you how to get to it. The other alternative is create a sketch. So if we create a sketch, again, we'll be asked what plane do we want to draw on? And I'll go on that one. The sketch tab comes up. So from this way, we can use the line icon. We can use the create line, which is the top one. And we also have the good old one, which is just the L. So you'll find, once you've been using Fusion a long while, whenever you want to draw a line, you just go with an L. So how do we start a line? Well, we start a line by clicking and what you'll notice then it's asks you specify your next point so we move across to wherever our next point is now how do we finish the line well we click it but that's not quite everything because if you just click it and move away it will start to try and make another line so we've got to know how to end a line well, one of the easiest ways to end a line is to hit the escape key. If you hit the escape key and you want to do another line, you'll have to type L again. Now, when you want to draw a line, you'll notice that it gives you a prompt in the middle of the screen and it says place the first point. So we place the first point, we move across and we place the second point. And we can hit return. Now again, if we want to do another line, we've got to do the L shortcut. We place the first point, we place the second point. We click. Now, if we want to come out of the line, what we can do is we can start a new command. Now, a new command would be, say, if we wanted to start a circle. So if we started a circle, that would end the line. The other thing that you can do to finish a line is to close the profile, but I'm not going to, we'll just leave it there for now because I want to show how you close a profile later. So let's just say there is one more way. There's actually two more ways and there's two better ways. So all of the methods that I've shown you so far mean that you have to start the line again. So if we press L, we click to place the first point. We click to place the second point. And what you'll notice, there is a tick box underneath. When you go over that, it will go green and it will say the magic words create and continue. What happens now is you don't have to press the L because you're going to stay in the line command. So you can then do another line, come down to the little green tick, 
start another line, come down to the green tick. But there's one other method, and it's definitely the easiest method ever. So this is hopefully the 20% if you don't know it. So if you click L, you start a line, you place the first point, you place the second point, but before you click, just click twice. Now, if you click twice, you can put as many lines in as you want. I did not know that. That is a good time saver for me. So that's my favorite. To start a line, you just do L, you place the first point, you place the second point, and just double click wherever you want to go. Okay. Let's get rid of all of that. Give us a bit of a screen space. So to start a line, we press L, we click the first point, and then you come across. And one thing you'll notice there, there's a little box that tells you how long that line is. And there's also a little box that tells you what angle that line is at. So if that's the case, then technically I could just type 45 and that'll be 45 mil long and hit return. And I've got 45 mil line, but I can't remember what the angle was. So what you can do is L to start the line. We place the first point, place the second point. And if I do 45, but instead of return, if I do tab, I can then put the degrees, which would be 45. And then if I hit return or double click or any of the others, that will now give me a line at 45 mil long with an angle of 45 degrees in relation to this. Now, this is what's known as a construction line. It's a red, orangey sort of dotty line. And what it means is that it is 45 degrees in relation to this line that's automatically been put in for you. You can, if you wish, go negative. So if you do line, it's first point, before you put in the second point, if you go negative, you can then go 45 and 45. That will create you a line that is 45 mil long and a negative value of 45. Even though it doesn't say negative, it is technically a negative 45. So that's, that's one way of doing it. Quite often when you draw in a line, um, you just want it vertical or you want it horizontal you don't really want it at an angle so you can press l start your first point set your second one now as you hover over vertical it will snap and you know it's snapped i know it's very pale and i apologize but there is like a little blue mark come on the line and the it's come up as 90 degrees so if i click that one you will notice that it has a what's known as a vertical constraint now we're not going to go into constraints today um, but just to, to suffice that this here is a horizontal or vertical constraint so if i do a line from there to there no i shouldn't have done that bear with me too close to the other line let's do that again so a line if i do from there and then bring it down to the horizontal and click you then have a horizontal constraint. So the line is then straight up or across. 